Hello everyone, and welcome to Lesson 42 of C Programming on the Mac. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create enumerated types in C. So, essentially, enumerated types uh, sounds kind of confusing, but it's really, really quite easy. So, um, essentially what enumerated types are, are just kind of variable names that have integer values assigned to them. So they're just integer constants. They have uh, some kind of name, and they just have an integer value. So quite simple. So why would I need to use this if I already know how to create variables? Well, essentially, um, enumerated types are really good if you have some kind of uh, like data or similar data. Um, so for uh, one good example that always gets thrown around is uh, the deck of cards example where you have uh, different types of cards. You have a two, a three, a four, a king, ace, jack, queen, blah, 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 all that stuff. And each of those cards you could simulate with um, basically a number value. So if you wanted to, you know, have your uh, two have a value of two um, or, you know, something like that, then you have enumerated types. Uh, enumeration basically just means that you go through a set one at a time. So since cards, um, you know, you have two, three, four, five, and these values are just incremented by one. They're just the next number in a list. So enumerated types are really, really good at that. Um, they're just basically, again, constants, and they just have integer values that just kind of uh, keep enumerating, or they're um, just incremented by one each time. So um, that's really what enumerated types are, and you'll see this, especially if you go into Objective-C, you'll see this all the time. Um, Apple has tons of different enumerated types in their language, and um, so yeah, if you want to, um, if you want to learn enumerated types, it's certainly good for uh, Objective-C as well. So, um, anyway, that's what enumerated types are. So let's get into actually creating these, and I know we talk forever, and eh, it's fun to talk sometimes, but it's more fun to code. So let's go ahead and create a new file, and you don't actually have to create a new file, uh, you could make this in your main.c file if you wanted to, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in a header file, because you know me, I like to do that. So you could do that by going to the action button or the file, new file menu or command N. I don't know why I always go to the action button because probably the slowest way. I just do it. So C and C++, uh, it's the little header that it's under, and we're looking for the header file. So go ahead and hit next, and now you can just do num types. And now you go ahead and hit finish at the bottom. And now uh, you can kill this uh, code blah junk there if you want, it doesn't really matter, or you can leave it in, but I'm going to get rid of it. So anyway, that's uh, what we've got so far. So now we have uh, this little blank slate, and it's just a header file, and now we want to know how we set up these enumerated types. So it's really quite simple. All we have to do is say enum, which just is the keyword for enumerator or enumeration or enumerated, something like that, and basically it just means an enumerated type. And um, so what we've created here is um, that just the startup for creating an enumerated type, but um, if you really want to know what enumeration is, um, there's no real good definition of enumeration, but it really just means traversing or going through kind of a list of data one at a time. So uh, enumeration would just be going uh, incrementing by one uh, each time. So in enumerated, uh, enumerated types we have different constants and their values just increment by one each time. That's kind of the best definition of enumeration that I can give, just kind of incrementing by one through some kind of list. So now in our type we kind of have to create some type and we have to make a name for it. So um, now, in our example here, we're going to be using the example of, um, of placement. So let's say you ran a race, or you're in the Olympics, better yet, and you got first place, and some other sucker got second place, and the loser got third. And I shouldn't say it's a loser. I mean, heck, if you're in the Olympics, you're pretty good. But anyway, you get my idea. So placement is just, you know, the place that you come in, first, second, or third. 
So that's what we're going to call this um, this set right here, a num placement. And that's going to be our enumerated data set or a uh, little group of enumerated types that we're going to create. So then we have to create these curly braces, and that just defines the set uh, the kind of that we're creating here. So placement, so different things that we'd want, not fist, but first. And uh, I'll scrap that for a second. Uh, so now we just want to list all the different um, values that we'd have in placement. So we'd have first, and then we'd have second, and then we'd have third. And you could keep going with this, but I'll just keep it to the top three, little podium. So um, now we've just created a list of three different enumerated uh, number or variable constants here. And how enumerators basically work is if you don't define anything off the bat, um, they just start out as, as a value of zero. So first we'll have a value of zero, second has a value of one, and third has a value of two. But that's not that great because more or less we want to have first be equal to one. That makes a little more sense. So let's change this around. And to do that, we can start our set by changing the first um, value. So we can say first gets a value of one. So the nice thing about enumerated uh, or enumerated types is that every value after is just incremented by one. So if first is going to start with a value of one, every value after that is going to be incremented by one. So now second will have a value of two and third will have a value of three. I don't have to say second gets two and third gets three. That's the nice thing about, thing about numerated types, they just kind of increment in a row like that. So I just specify my start point, more or less, and now um, every point after that is just going to be one more, or incremented by one, every time through. So now, let's say, for example, I'd like to change up my um, second value. Let's say I want to put second to be equal to five, because that makes total sense. So now, second is going to get a value of five. And every type or every uh, variable after this point uh, is now going to have the incremented value. So third would now have a value of six. If I had a fourth, it would have a value of seven. And you get the idea. So essentially, I can declare any kind of start point that I want, change its value, and then every value after that or every variable after that is going to have the next number value. So incremented by one. So if I, I can just scrap that though, and I just want it to be equal to two. So we've already set this set up here. We have uh, first equal to one. Now second will have the next value, which would be two. And third would have the next value, which would be equal to three. So you get the idea. So now I don't have to put another comma after this uh, third because um, I don't need it because I'm done with my list. So now I just want to finish this off with a uh, nice little semicolon there. And now my enumerated set or uh, enumerated type is done. So uh, now I can head back over to my main.c file. And I can pound include what I just created here. So num types. And now I can go down here and I can start creating variables of my enumerated type if I want. So uh, if I want, I can just say an um placement, which is my type the type of the enumerated set or type is plate a num placement and now I can create the variable name so the variable name is going to be p1 and it's going to get a value of first and since first was um, a value in my enumerated set first had a value of one so I can give my uh, enumerated type a value of first because I defined in that set first was equal to one so p1 is just going to get a value of one and this is complaining because I compiled it and it's just saying that it's an unused variable called p1. And of course I haven't used it yet, so of course it's unused. And now I can create another variable called p2 and I'm going to give it a value of second. I compile that and it's also going to complain at that one. So now let's create a little if statement here. So if, let's say, I want to print out um, if player one is better than player two, so if player one got first place in this instance and player two got second, I want to, you know, print out a message that says player one did better or player one got, you know, is better than player two. So I could just say if p1 is less than p2, 
which in this case, he's not actually less in value because he's the better. He's, you know, he got first place, so of course he's better. But in this case, since P1 has the value of first, first is equal to 1, and P2 is equal to 2, so if P1 is less than P2, technically he's better than P2. So now, if I want to print this out, I can say person1 is better than P2, or person2. And yeah, that's right, person2, you are not going to get your name capitalized, unfortunate for you. So we're going to leave it at that, and we can build and run this, and let's actually build and run this. And as you can see, person1 is better than person2, because P1 had a value of 1, and P2 had a value of 2. And since P1 was less than P2, not in worth, but in actual value, since P1 had a value of 1, P2 had a value of 2. So P1, if you're less than P2, that means you got first place, or you were at least better than player 2. Uh, so, or person, whatever. So person 1 is better than person 2. So you get the idea. I can also um, make another uh, thing for this. Let me just do a backslash and quickly for that. I can also compare the types directly. I don't actually need to create any variables for this if I want. So I could just say if second is less than third, which this may seem obvious, of course second is less than third because second is value of two and third is a value of three. So if second is less than third, I can print out, um, yes, yeah, second is better, wow, I can't spell, better than third, ah, there we go. So now if I build and run this, as you can see, second is better than third. So you can also see that I can compare the types directly. I don't actually have to create variables for these different types that I declared in my enumerated type. I can use these types directly, and since they just have integer values, I can compare them just uh, like I would compare normal integers, because that's what they are. So anyway, this has pretty much been the tutorial on enumerated types. Again, they're just kind of a nice group of uh, like values or similar values, and um, they just have uh, numbers assigned to them. They're just no, uh, integer constants. And you can use them throughout your program to compare different things, and it just makes it nicer instead of comparing number values. So uh, sometimes it's nicer to read your code than trying to decipher what numbers mean. So, um, of course, enumerated types can be nice for that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on enumerated types. If you have any questions, feel free to leave your questions in the comments below. And uh, if you uh, need any other assistance, you can uh, feel free to send me a message. And also, please subscribe to the channel. Um, we just hit 350 for the subscribers, which uh, is pretty big, at least for me. Um, so I'm happy, and uh, I hope you guys are still enjoying these tutorials as well. So anyway, um, if you uh, have subscribed already, thank you very much, and if you haven't, uh, just please take a little time and hit the subscribe button right above the video. Um, so anyway, this was a tutorial on enumerated types, more tutorials are always on the way, and make sure you check out uh, some of the other tutorials on the channel. Uh, we have Xcode tutorials and also Objective-C tutorials. And those are always um, in production as well. And more is to come for the channel in the future. So um, if you subscribe, you'll know what's coming up. So anyway, uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial.